Now the third way is biofeedback. Now the most exciting high-tech biofeedback was done at that Stanford group that I admire so much. Sean Mackey was the lead investigator. They put people in a functional magnetic resonance imaging machine. They looked here at the activation right there. Chronic pain patients were controlled to control activation in the rostral anterior cingulate cortex and reported decreases in the ongoing level of chronic pain after training. So what they did was they put them into the machine here and they showed them a picture of a fire on the beach. They saw this image of fire on the beach. And the height of that fire was coupled to what was the intensity in this brain spot which is responsible for pain. It's also responsible for emotion. Emotion and pain are really close in the brain, um, which is partly why, you know, having bad emotions really feeds chronic pain because they're very close together in the brain. And, and you know how close emotions and pain are coupled, right? Right from the beginning, right? You hit your he finger with a hammer. It's not, oh my, I have hit my finger with a hammer. It's more like, oh, and I won't even say it, right? But, um, all right, but at any rate, so they, oops, they, um, they focused on trying to increase the height of the fire or decrease it. And their, their brains were able to figure out how to do it with that feedback. And what they noticed was when the fire got bigger, their pain got worse. And when the fire got smaller, their pain got better. And so they had learned how to control their brain, how to control the activation of that circuitry through this feedback. And it reported decreases in ongoing level of chronic pain after training. In other words, it wasn't just a one-time treatment. It actually cured them for some period of time at least for the period of the study. Um, and so this is exciting, but of course, not suitable for home use, right? <laughs> <laughs> These are hugely expensive machines. Um, but you can do biofeedback yourself. There's compelling scientific evidence for the effectiveness of biofeedback for reducing chronic pain, of various types of bi biofeedback. Um, one that you can do most conveniently at home is learning to warm your hands with your mind which is not difficult. It can help you relax, reduce anxiety, and reduce chronic pain. It activates the parasympathetic nervous system over the sympathetic nervous system. See, the sympathetic nervous system, that's fight or flight. Withdraw the blood to the periphery so that if the tiger bites you, you don't bleed so much in your arm. Um, release cortisol, other chemicals, try to pump you up. Parasympathetic is, 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 is the opposite, blood to the periphery relax, calm, calm and connect it's called sometimes, or calm and digest. And, and your hands get warm when you have parasympathetic ac ac activation. And so measuring your hand temperature can tell you how well you're doing at ha getting parasympathetic activation. Um, so with hand warming biofeedback, you just take a little thermometer like that one you can buy in a kit for $27 from, from Amazon. You can also get them, um, the little ones that are made for for baby temperature. They're made for taping under a baby's, you know, uh, armpit. Um, so you can monitor them fr from a cell phone app from your bed. Uh -huh. But you can use those, you know, you can measure, use that for measuring your hand temperature. You can have the cell phone app if you want something a little fancier than this. Um, and then you say phrases to relax, or you might have your own relaxation techniques to use, and you can see how well they work by how, how warm your hands get. What I use are the phrases that I got taught by a person who taught me biofeedback to overcome migraine headaches at Sansom Clinic. My hands and legs are heavy and warm. My heartbeat is calm and regular. My breathing is automatic. My hands and legs are heavy and warm. My heartbeat is calm and regular. My breathing is automatic. After you do this for a while, you don't even really need the thermometer because you can start to feel the blood pulsing in your hands when it's working. Um, you do this de regularly, several times a day, to desensitize the brain, whether or not you're feeling pain. It's easiest to learn the technique while pain is less severe. So this isn't a pain pill. This is a maintenance, a maintenance thing.